Welcome students to Microsoft Excel Conditional Formatting. All right, in this lesson today, we've created a table. As you can see, we've got different columns. All right, and then we've got some re assignment results for first assignment, second assignment, we've got exam results, and we've got a year mark. So that's the data that we're going to conditionally format. And now I'm just going to select it. So I'm using the control key. You can click and select. All right, then I click on conditional formatting. As you can see, there are many different types of color codes. And you can see the designs are also slightly different. And based on the amount, you'll see the bar is longer and shorter. There's also heat map type cells. As you can see, again, there's many different variants. And you can go through them all just to see how they look. You can even put icons in. That represents the value. So it makes it easier to understand which values are high, which ones are low. For example, I'm going to use your bar chart. It almost looks like your cell phone signal. But the nice thing is I can put that in and I can put another type. So you've actually see there's two of them there if you wanted to do that. Just be careful, you need to select your cells. Now I can go and have a look. All right, and there we go again. And I'm just going to change it. So if you want to change it, it's very easy to do. And then that's how we clear it. And so you can start from scratch, find another variant color code, and then you can select whichever one you want to do. For example, I've used the greens. What you can do is you can actually go and look at the selections. And you can actually go and edit the colors if you want and understand actually how the formatting is actually working.